guys. It's Crazy Calendar Lady. I know, we've got the little paws on. It's getting cold. Um, so, today is Saturday, 11-11, uh, November 11th, 2017. Did you do anything for Singles Day today? I'm thinking about taking myself out to dinner later. Um, I'm running out of time, though. <laughs> Everything closes at, like, 9. Um, did you do anything for air day? Maybe watch, uh, watch an air show or look at some airplanes. Um, did you think of that? Did you maybe have a Sunday or do some origami? Um, did you do anything with wine? I don't know. Like, I don't know why they made wine tourism day in November. Isn't it getting too cold for grapes by then? Um, well, maybe that's why all the wine is already made. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if you're a wine connoisseur, maybe you can tell me a little bit more about that. <laughs> so, tomorrow, November 12th, is um, Chicken Soup for the Soul Day. And yes, it was made by the uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul Enterprises, the book um the book company, and now they have um, several other things. I know they have audiobooks, and I think they have a calendar and a few other things. Um, not that mine isn't important. <laughs> but um, basically, the whole idea of that is to appreciate the care. It's it's all about you. To You know, um, it's supposed to be a celebration of who you are, where you've been, where you're going, and who you will be thankful for when you get there. And that is a quote from them. Um, but, you know, um, one of the things that they said was, you know, it's not necessarily the chicken soup. You know, you can't really get comfort out of a can. It's the love that's been put into it. Um, so that was for that. It is International Tongue Twister Day. <laughs> I learned something. I did not know this, but in the one Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Yeah, I think I got it. That person was actually a real person. He would steal the um, pepper seeds from Dutch trading ships and um, he, he used to be a pirate. <laughs> And, uh, so one, one time he stole a half a bushel of nutmegs and put them in his garden and that's what's inspired the tongue twister. Now I'm going to get this wrong, I'm sure, but according to the Guinness Book of World Records, the world's hardest difficult tongue twister in the English language is the sixth, yeah, I, I don't even think I can do it, the sixth sick sheik's sixth sheeps sick yeah <laughs> I totally messed that up but if you want to challenge your friend the shortest tongue twister that I know is two words toy boat say it three times fast good luck <laughs> uh, so try a couple out on your friends try a couple yourself um, see if you can find some interesting new ones and just have fun with that um, it is also uh, World Pneumonia Day. Um, again, this is my personal opinion, but I never get the pneumonia or the flu shots um, because I always get sick afterwards. And I know that they are, um, oh my gosh, what is the word? Ah, when you When you take like a little tiny bit to make, make your body create an antitoxin. Um, anyway, I can't think of the word. Um, but it doesn't work for me. I always get sick. So I was just like, no. Um, <laughs> but, um, it's actually really sad because it says that pneumonia is one of the most solvable problems in global health, but a child dies from the infection every 20 seconds. That means by the time I'm done talking about this, someone else would have died. died. That's, that's bad. Um, so, um, you know, if there's, if there's something that we can do, 
Um, I know, I know that I got vaccines when I was younger. Um, I just don't take them now, but as an adult, I think that's my decision. And I guess, you know, if it's your child, that's your decision too, but just be careful. Um, the only thing that, that bothers me is there are so many strains, like, um, you know, the vaccines prevent only against so many different strains of the viruses and there are so many strains. So, but that's just my personal opinion. You have to do, you know, what works for you. And, um, you know, but the goal of having World Pneumonia Day is to bring awareness and see if there's anything that we can do to, to stop this from killing our children. Um, and, and just how bad it is. Like we don't, we don't see all the time the impact that diseases have on our world. And it's just, wow, you know, really, um, really critical and we don't even know it. Um, so just to be aware of that. So it is also happy hour day. <laughs> I know, so emotional, sad, to happy. So maybe go out and I don't know why they would have a happy hour day on the weekend because, hey, it's the weekend. <laughs> happy hours for a work day. Um, <laughs> uh, so maybe just go out and have a drink with some friends. It is also International Day of the Bible. Um, you know, it. I think it's very interesting because so many different religions, even outside of Christianity, use the Bible as a holy book. You know, um, I know that Muslims use the Bible. I know that Jews use the Old Testament of the Bible. Um, and then, of course, there's all the different branches of Christianity. Um, and a good book is a good book. <laughs> I know that probably sounds terrible. I, I don't mean it in a bad way, you know, um, but it just might be a day to kind of read and reflect. Um, you know, sometimes um, when I was younger, we just kind of flip through to a page and just start reading. And that's what you needed to hear for right then, you know. Um, so maybe try doing something like that. Um, so, you know, it's really interesting when I go through these, um, I'm not as educated as I thought I was because I want to travel the world. You know, I want to see everything. You know, I told you guys, I like to learn stuff and there's so much out there. And of course, you know, I don't have the money to do all of that, but, um, I was looking for different holidays that went on in different countries other than the United States. Um, and there was one that I had never heard of before. <laughs> um, it is National Youth Day in East Timor. And I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and it's just a day to celebrate the youth. But they are um, kind of a little bit... Um, I don't want to say Polynesian. Um, they have so many different cultural influences and, um, you know, and I didn't even know that was a country. <laughs> That's horrible. I feel bad, you know. Um, you know, I actually, um, I didn't know Estonia was an actual country um, for the longest time. Um, I thought it was something that they made up for a movie. Um, you know, and, um, it's just amazing. I think how much I don't know that I don't know, <laughs> you know, there's, they say that you'll never learn everything and it's just a joy to, to really learn about, you know, people and countries and where you come from, you know, and there are so many things out there to experience, even if, I won't hop on a plane tomorrow and go to East Timor and go, hey, I just found out about you guys. Tell me everything. I know it's there now, you know, and yeah, I could look it up and I could watch a couple videos or something, but, you know, I learned something and, and, and maybe I can, I can do something with that. So I, I hope that stuff like that gets you guys excited too. You know, there's so much out there, whether it's 
foods or cultures or dances or music. I love finding new music that I like, you know, just something that excites you and gets you motivated and gets your heart pumping, you know, feel alive. So, all right, one last thing and then I will let you guys go. Um, today is the beginning of International Split Pea Soup Week. That's not too bad. <laughs> and it is observed seven days starting the second Sunday of November. Excuse me. Um, you know, I put down in the descriptions the other day, it was another holiday. Uh, it was um, Homeless and Hungry Prevention. Let me see if I can get that real quick. National Hunger and Homelessness Awareness Week. But it goes on for nine days. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because, you know, I, I've been there. You know, um, I've been to food banks. You know, I've been in situations that I didn't want to be in. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's something that we, as a world and a culture and a country and all that, need to work on. But I just thought it was kind of funny that they put it as a week and it's really nine days. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I hope you had a great day today, and I hope you guys have a great day tomorrow. Um, remember, just, you know, have fun, smile, be yourself, stay warm and dry if you're having nasty weather out there. I will see you tomorrow evening. Bye!